Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today is the day when we actually start typing manuscripts. We have done all the groundwork. You have learned about line spacing, types of paragraphs, headings, how to set your margins, etc. Um, in your respective classes at school, your teacher should have taught you how to interpret manuscript signs and symbols and about abbreviations. Now today is a day when we put all of that together and start typing manuscripts. I have a manuscript here to our left and I hope you can see it. Right? Manuscripts normally come in such a way that it's hard for us to understand them. But hopefully you can see this one today and we can start typing together. Alright, so it says type the following manuscript in double line spacing using the blocked style. Now, it did not specify the layout of the manuscript, whether it should be an unbound, top bone, or left bone. But as I said to you in a previous video, that whenever you are given a manuscript to type and it's not specified, then by default you are expected to use the unbound margin. Alright, so to my right I have a Microsoft Word um, window open and we're going to start. Now, the first thing that you do once you open Microsoft Word is that you will put it on. I'm going to go to Quick Style and you put it on no spacing. And I have in another video how, if you want to use normal, how to adjust the um, line spacing there. But for me, I prefer to use no spacing. Then I will set my font to Times New Roman and the size font size 12. The next thing I need to do is to set my margin. As I said to you, we are going to be using the margin for the unbound manuscript. So I go to page layout, margins, go to go down to custom margins and for the unbound manuscript it would be um, the top will be 1.5 will be 1.5 and the left, bottom, and right will remain at 1. Apply to whole document. Press OK. And I'm going to press Enter. And I'm going to go down to my page 2. I'm not sure if this manuscript that I'm typing today will go on page 2. But I still need to set it. So page 2, right as the cursor hit that page, I go there. And I go to Margins. Custom Margin. And then that will be 1 inch all around. So I take off the 1.5 and leave it 1 inch all around. Apply it to. I have selected text here. I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to try it again. To see if it's, we it should have said this point forward. Okay, so this point forward. Alright, so that is it. So my margin is set. I can now start my typing. Okay, so it says filing systems and procedures and with two lines under it, it says it means that that should be all capital. So filing systems and procedures, it said it should be in font size 16, but I'm going to leave that for now. I'm going to press once, twice, I get a double space between the mean and the subheading. So my subheading will now be alphabetical filing system. They said that that should use initial caps and underscore, u slash s is underscore. Alphabetical filing system. Alright, I'm going to go one, two. That's a triple space the third time I start my typing. This. Right, so let me just make the adjustments now. So this should be 16. And this should be underlined. Control plus U will give me that. Alright. I can quickly put on my show height. You see one show height between mean and sub. No space above or below it. Two show heights between sub and the body to signify a triple space, no space between them. Good, so we're on our way. So it says, this is perhaps what 
one of the easiest. Now the double line, the dotted line under the word easiest, right, means tet. And that means that we should leave it unchanged or leave it as is. Alright. So easiest methods. Of filing full stop and the one two spaces after a full stop all right the line under the eyes said that that should be capitalized in this system ea full stop means each folder is labeled correspondent and the abbreviation for and we should write out the word all right so we see the dotted line under the word placed as well sometimes the line is under the word above so that would be the word that we type the word, whichever word we see the line under that is the word we should always type Alright, so we now come up to what is called a transposition. Alright, transpose horizontally. So we will see number one, we type that first, and then number two. So order of the names. And TRS tells us that it should be transposed. Alright, two spaces after a full stop. Alright, so we see the insert sign which tells us that the word direct in the margin should be inserted. space between paragraphs so the FOL is following and the abbreviation for alphabetical alphabetical filing system Alright, so now we uh, go to a paragraph heading. Note it said that I should be typing in the block style, right? There's a colon. So first. First position, we get marks for our abbreviations, right? All right, so and are used. Alright, so this is a delete sign, so it means that we should take out that word. So I'm going to continue at of the alphabet. The IC should be deleted. Alphabet and okay. And secondary is acting as a shoulder heading. Based on this, alright. Okay. Also, let me take this up. Also, this should be a capital M.
this one, two spaces after full stop. Okay. Alright, so now that I've finished my typing, let me go back over my headings. They should have been underlined. So let me control you based on what the question is saying. Alright, so the next thing I need to do is to put this in double line spacing. So I will highlight paragraph by paragraph. When I highlight, I make sure I start at the beginning of the paragraph and end where the full stop is and press control 2. Now when I put a double space, when I have a double space between my paragraphs and I do this, it automatically gives me a triple space between the paragraphs. Alright? Control plus 2. And here I have it. I'm going to enlarge this, seeing that I've finished typing from the main document so you can see it. Alright, so this is how it looks. Alright, so I have a double space between my main and sub heading, a triple space between the sub and the body. Each paragraph is in double line spacing. I have a triple space between my paragraphs. Between my paragraphs. Alright, and that is it. That is it. The next thing I'll show you quickly is how to insert your name on this document. So this now I'm in the header. Header from top, we always put that at 0 0.3. When we start doing letters, I'll show you why. And then you write the name of the document. Manuscript, and to the right, your name. So, Kerry Shirley. All right. That is not in Times New Roman. Alright, and this I should have selected different first page. But I'll show you that in another video, seeing that this is only on one page. And that is it guys, for you type a simple manuscript. Alright, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Please share it with other persons so that they too can benefit from the content. And please do not forget to subscribe, as that is the only way in which you can get more videos when I upload them. And also help me in return. Alright, so see you in my next upload. I'm going to do another video showing you how we do manuscripts in the indented style. But this is how it is in the block style. Thanks for watching and see you in my next upload.